Hello there guys and welcome to another video. Today we are looking at characters from the US Office series and we are ranking them in order of Elite, Amazing, Good, Okay and Poor. Now I am a massive US Office fan and when I saw this one I thought I have to do it because I know it's got quite a big following in England as well. Um, so we've got through all the characters starting from Michael Scott all the way to D'Angelo and we'll see how we go. We'll put them in order. So obviously Elite. Michael Scott, he's got to be, hasn't he? I think Michael Scott, when he left, it wasn't really the same, was it? He came back for the final episode and didn't really say much, but it was just amazing just to have him back for that one. Um, Oscar, Oscar Martinez. I actually like Oscar. I'm going to put him in good. I don't think he's amazing, um, but I'm going to put him in good. I like the relationship that he had with Kevin. It was quite nice. Um, now... This, I can't, do you know what? I've actually forgotten this guy's name. It's really annoying me. Um, but I'm going to put this guy in okay. Obviously, he's the boss, isn't he? I can't remember his name. It's going to drive me insane that I can't remember his name now. All I can think about is the argument that Jan had with him. Um, but I'm going to put him in okay. He plays a good part, you know. He actually plays quite a pivotal part in the, the, the takeover that Michael Scott does. Um, not that Michael Scott does. Um, that um, Ed Helms does in the end. So he plays an important role in that. Um Oh my goodness, mate. I, I, do you know what? This guy just freaks me out. Do you know what I mean? He does freak me out a lot. Can't really deal with him, to be honest with you. So he's going in the poor category. Obviously, we've got Jim. Jim is elite. I like Jim. Kevin is elite. Absolutely love Kevin. I think he's amazing. Um, I can't remember her name. All I remember is from that she's from Misery and she was the boss. Um, I'm putting her in poor. Didn't really like her, to be honest with you. Um, I think she played better parts. Phyllis, I love Phyllis. I think Phyllis is amazing, to be honest with you. Catherine Tate came in um, near the end. Yeah, I'm going to put her as okay. I don't think she... She did play a big part, but I don't think... I think you sort of knew when Catherine Tate was in it, it was coming to the end. Um, and then also you've got good old Luther coming in there. He played quite good, actually. I like him. He, was, he played a good part with the rivalry that he had with Jim. It was quite cool. Then you got this guy from Hot Tub Time Machine, the little intern guy. I can't remember his name again. I think he was quite poor, to be honest with you. Didn't think he really gave much to it. Mose. Oh, my God. Mose is going in the amazing column. I absolutely love Mose. Only has, like, little parts in it. I mean, he's so talented as well. He's actually the director and writer of a lot of things, which is, uh, like, Parks and Recreation and The Office as well. Really cool. Uh, you got The Caretaker. He was okay. He, he had some okay. I don't, I don't think he deserves to be in that good. Uh, Packer. Packer was good, actually. I quite liked Packer, um, especially with the, where he took a dump in his office. That was quite cool. Stanley goes in the amazing column. I actually just love his um, his sense of uh, his sense of sarcasm. That's what makes him what he uh, what he is. Uh, Holly Holly was good. I didn't mind Holly. I thought it was lovely the way she came in and was exactly like Michael Scott, but I don't think she was amazing. Pam, obviously elite. He's got to be elite. Daryl is elite. Absolutely love Daryl. I think Daryl is actually one of my favourite characters without a shadow of a doubt. I like Roy as well. I'm going to put Roy in Amazing. The reason why I'm putting Roy in Amazing is he played such a big part up to like season four, I think it was. And um, especially at the end when Pam and him were starting to break up, he actually played a really good part in that where she finally got with Jim. Dwight, do I really need to say where he's going? Obviously the guy is elite. Uh, Angela, Angela's going in Amazing. I think the two of those together are absolutely phenomenal. I uh, love them together. Um oh. This is a tricky one. I'm going to put her in good, um, Erin. The reason why I'm putting Erin in good is I, I liked it when she got with Andy and then the minute she started to get with the other bloke, it just started to go a bit weird. That's when we sort of knew that Ed Helms or Andy's character was going downhill. Bob Vance, Vance for duration. I can't even say that. I'm going to put him in okay. He did an okay job. He wasn't poor, was he? He was okay for the bit that he had. And then this guy comes in. I'm going to put him in good with Erin just because they suit each other quite well. Uh, then you've got this guy. And I watched this guy on the blacklist. And this guy is absolutely amazing. I actually really like this guy. <laughs> I'm going to put him in amazing because, to be fair, when he came in, he made a pretty good boss. Um, and he was just weird. Uh, Karen. Karen, I'm going to put in good. She did play a good part, to be fair to her, especially when Jim transferred to the other branch. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness me. Amazing absolutely love her i think she's just when she fakes a pregnancy with ryan as well do you know what i'm gonna put ryan in elite as well a lot of people probably disagree with me and probably say he needs to go like an amazing or good but i actually think that ryan played 
such a massive part from starting at the bottom, then getting right to the top and then falling all the way down to the bottom again. I thought his character was actually really good. Meredith is amazing. Absolutely love Meredith. She just makes it what it is. Creed, amazing. Up there, fantastic. Um, Jan... <clears throat> Jan was okay, and I think I think a lot of people are based on her character itself, but I actually thought that she played a good part in this. She was a massive journey in Michael Scott's um, love life, but uh, she played a good part. Uh, Andy, Andy, I'm going to put in amazing. I don't think he just gets in that elite section at the moment. Don't really think he deserves it. Uh, Toby, I'm going to put in good. Even There's like a conspiracy with the Scranton Strangler, isn't there, with Toby? I quite like that about him, that he's just sort of drifting along throughout the whole of the series. Uh, D'Angelo... D'Angelo, I'm going to put in Amazing. The reason why I'm putting D'Angelo in Amazing is because the story behind it is really cool. The fact that he said he wanted to, that Will Ferrell wanted to come back in and keep The Office alive when Michael Scott was leaving, or Steve Carell. So I'm going to put him in that Amazing column. Anyway, guys, this is my list. Um, if you guys agree, disagree, leave a comment. But most importantly, please hit give it a like uh, and also subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys later.